everyone, Runecloak here, and I've returned to try out Cultus. Now, I've made a couple versions of this deck. I've definitely been a bit of trial and error trying to make it work. But the idea is to play Operator with the Eclipse Initiate, and then later get a bunch more of them with Illusionist, and kind of that type of spam deck. And then you get the scenario, and then you infuse them all with the boost, you know, the big boosty stuff. Um, I also have Calvi and some tactics, so it's... <laughs> Um, in order to draw a scenario, because that's very key to the coldest um, package. I have access to my combo already. Um, I just need to draw. And we're up against Stockpile, so I'm going to keep Surrender. This isn't a card I want to play around one. Mm. Triss isn't really doing anything for me. I mean, I could draw Calvite, honestly, with her if I don't draw him otherwise. Purify. I think I need to Purify. There's Calfeet, so I don't even need to do that. So Calfeet's one of my de designated cultists this game, and Eltabald's the other one. He's just a good card in this deck, um, and he gets the cultist tag. He can be an engine. Um, and then I play a lot of cards in one turn with, like, Ramon, Artorias. This gives me a couple cards. Three in total, I think. Um, even this can be okay, and this plays a couple as well, or just one. But they're going to open Carablista, so they're just going to try to um, really, like deal damage to me, which is pretty rude to think about it. Hmm. I should be able to kill things pretty easily as well. How do I play around that? Okay, here's what here's well. Let's do... no, let's just do this. Stick with the plan, get the initiate down, and then I can infuse it and take it and get more. I mean, they can just kill my stuff, unfortunately, but let's see. Today yeah, we'll just kind of focus on carry over this round. I play the Deacon and Calvi and that kind of thing. Rude. They haven't played Meter Generator, so maybe it's just like all in Siege. Sentry and Envoy makes sense in this kind of deck. I'm just gonna infuse this probably. Yeah, okay. Look, I can infuse you to. I always infuse that. Hmm. Let me just turn you joust this one. My side of the board. Okay. <laughs> it's a nice Fultus Pride setup if they want to take it out. And then there's a Ballista, the front row, we just kill this. Rude. And they keep just talking about how rude they're being. Um, let's play this other initiate. And this is more carryover technically, playing this. But I can also play that in other rounds too. So I'll play this. Last say with Surrender would be really nice. Also a long round through would be cool, so I'd like to win the round. And then I can infuse this and play Calvi and just kill that. There's my other cultist. Elta Ball, right. Okay. Reinforcements, sure. It's a hard round to contest. But I'm okay with playing many more cards. As many as it takes, really. I get Triss into Ramon now. And then I could have a... I don't want to play Ramon. It's kind of big. I mean, I could play this Illusionist. No. He's infused. Hmm. Maybe I just pass now, and then I don't even give them a, let them bleed out my scenario. 
if that's how I survived the game. Maybe it is. Because the scenario, you kind of want to get down early either way. So I lost three points on this, unfortunately. That would have been a way to get it, I didn't realize. Because I did. Hmm. So again, this plate's for six. Need 18 points in two. I don't think I have it. So I'll just pass. Let them bleed me, see what they can do. Should be okay. The soldiers give me a lot of armor, and also I can... You know, the idea is to play illusionist to get the initiates back, but I'm fine doing it on like these reinforced ballistas or a cara ballista or whatever. Cara ballista could be good because they'll get armor. Oh yeah, I mean these. Are <laughs> wow, I drew my best cards. Triss, what's Triss doing? I mean, she could get me like her next cards: truffle and then invo. So you mulligan Triss, and then. Yeah, I mean, it's just a great hand. And I have Gold Cultist too. We're out of it. I'm just gonna lock him. I don't, I don't just info him outright, I don't think. Let's see. Let's play Truffle to start. Yeah, Truffle to start's pretty good, I think. Gets me ahead if they want to try to come. So you know what they want to do with the bleed. Let's see, I have no use for initiate yet. So maybe I just get one blista. Always go for the premium one. Okay. What do you want to do? Do you want to siege me? I'm fine giving you my scenario. Hand cell. Shoo, okay, that's big. Into a siege tower, okay. Not even with. They must have Fultus Prize in hand. Could be an invo target. Wow. Okay, now... Hmm. I need cultists on the board. I could play Prophet. No, I want to I have gold cultists to play. Let's go for the soldier, I guess. Or rather, the soldier pocket. Mm. They play Fultus Pride here. It'll take me too many turns to kill it. I don't think I can do that. I could be you now. I don't use the truffle. I'd rather try to keep it to carry over. Okay, now they just pass, so I have to give. I think I just have to play Profit. And Profit's. Profit's fine to give them, honestly. They played Hensel, which is crazy. I mean, this is a good trade for me. I'm happy with it. Profit does get ahead. Let me just check that out. Yeah, okay. And now my cultist. So I'm not going to make more cultists, unfortunately. Maybe because they hand sell, they did hand sell the siege tower, I have to do that. Hmm. Maybe I should try to get ahead. But no, I mean, this way I keep all my good cards. And then purify, I don't think I need. Okay, deacon, what's the next card? Next card is like Triss or a four. Now they just keep this hand. This hand's pretty great, actually. And these guys will make more cultists. Alright. Got good carryover, I still have a lock left. Alright, nice. I've got Invo plus Surrender for more control. Okay. So I think 
Let's play this guy first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds good. Is him, him. So I have four cards with the thing? Okay. And then I play you. And I play the other one, yeah. Do I play around Fultus Pride? I play around Fultus Pride, I play into. I'd rather just play into Fultus Pride. Um, I think. I think you're next. I could have done this a little differently, leading with the soldiers. Play this next. Hmm. Oh no, I can play. Oh, I need to infuse something somehow. Before I play El Eltabald. It's funny, he infuses something, but. Hmm. Okay, okay. There's a lock. I'm gonna get my Purify, but if I purify him, then he doesn't have a point anyway. Why would you hit my locked unit? Do they have tower removal? Did I just get this guy down? I guess they locked his order, but it doesn't really matter to me. Hmm. Now I probably play Vigo. It's weird they haven't played Siege yet. Oh, muzzle. Rude. Your own muzzle against you. Okay, so only this guy's getting big and they might have like a tall punish. So... I mean this will just... Actually, he's infused though, so I think I can damage him by... It damages him? Nice, it does. And then I can infuse you. Cool. Okay, now <laughs> they've used muzzle, so they can't do that. Alright, it's fine. And now I Vigo so I can get a simulate value. And let's see what I can get with him. Maybe he can turn this to a cultist. That might be worth a lock. Or Yeah, okay. I do it like, well, let's see, they're gonna play a bunch of damage on this next turn. Hmm. So this plays for one. Maybe I think just getting the illusionist is better. Although this is extra cultist, maybe this is just better. I think it might be. Um, it shouldn't matter too much. Oops, I only had one in my hands. Matter. Master of Ceremonies getting buff. Doesn't matter. He doesn't need to be on the board. I, don't I have teleports for that kind of um, opportunity. Oh, they killed- oh yeah, no, I didn't get an illusionist, right, right, right. Okay. Nice. There's the full test pride. We'll use the other leader charge, okay. Did they ever play... Amphibious Assault? They have room for it. And they're just gonna full leader here, so... They never played a- oh, they did play it once, so that's my invo target, I think. Ah! <laughs> So maybe I lock this. Surrender's looking good. Yeah, I think I just lock this. And then I play you. Mm, on to... Onto one of these, I think. It's like a three, four, five, six. It's like a five with armor. Is this actually better? Oh, I didn't play it next to the. I didn't crew it, so I just get one of these. And then next, I'll get a Carablista. Should I boost this up? 
Might be worth it, honestly. I also killed that, which is good. I'm up 24 points, which is really nice. <laughs> I mean, half of it's Master of Ceremonies. I'm pretty sure they have tall removal, the way they've played here. This guy is a cultist. It's good. It's bombardment. Yeah, okay, getting armor down was nice. Ah, oh, this survived. Okay. Alright, so we do this, I think. And Surrender actually just kills this right now. Seems worth it. Woo! <laughs> Again, most of my points are on this dude. Alright, there's the AA. So likely, okay, AA, ooh, that's, I wanted to info. Okay. It's just the next engine, another bombardment. Alright, probably kills this. It's too bad. Oh, they definitely have tar removal. Okay. God, my invo is looking bad. Let's just take the the Carablista. I mean, he boosts by a bunch too. I don't get any points on this. I guess I gotta play the back row. Okay, well, there's I invo this anyway. Whatever. Give me. All right. Up <laughs> forty. They missed. They missed siege. Or they just don't play. They must. Half siege, yeah, okay, I knew that was happening, but I still win by 17. Good game, Northern Realms. Thanks for playing. And you'll see one thing to note is I am at a bit of a low MMR with all the the practice I had with this deck. I think this is one of those decks that'll be better in the future, like in a non a non-Renfree world. Because in the games I've played, and especially with this version, like I've beaten I think most of the non-run-free decks I fought, like that Northern Realms there, I beat Knights, I beat um, Cat Spam, but I've struggled against all the run-free decks. They just have so much point slam and they can bully me really hard round one. So we're on blue coin, which can be kind of rough here. Um, let's see, this isn't a card I want to play round one. I need Triss or Operator. Okay, I want two teleports on blue coin. Ah! I also want Calvite. So there's two cards I want in this round one, and I'm not really getting either of them. Okay, I mean, this is just... Oh no. Oh no. Calvi? <laughs> you guys? Okay. Alright, so Operation Survive. Just play a Deacon, I guess. Carry over. I don't want to play this card. I want him in hand for Operator. So we'll play a Deacon. You can become that. Watch them play like Saskia. I don't know what kind of version I'm, I'm facing, what variation on the deck. I know there's a Hyper Control one, there's a Saskia. Okay! A Nature Rebuke is nice to see, honestly. <laughs> uh, I think I play the other one. I think I just go for this. Diplomacy. Honestly, get this defender down. This defender, it's a Mahakam defender. Okay, okay. Alright, I think we, we might be able to survive this. Nine points up! Oh god, this is like some kind of traps deck. Alright, well, I've got. Um, this could boost? It doesn't. Alright. Oh, I drew a terrible hand to fight traps. That is what it is. It's definitely a controlly list. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I think I pass. I think I'll be okay. I'm gonna chance it. Oh, I wasn't playing like a attorney jazz place for five tempo. But I don't wanna play a lot of these other cards. And I'm curious what their deck's all about. They kind of it seems like they missed stuff because they used a lot of control. Or maybe it's just their game plan? I'm not sure. My game plan is to find Calvite, find Operator, and there's there's Operator. Okay, Calvite's still not arriving. It seems like they have engines, so Tourney Joust could be decent, but I'd rather Mulligan these and other cards. Oh my gosh. So I guess I keep this. Calvite, buddy? Round three Calvite's not much. And there's Saskia, and I mulligan my tourney just. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, so I think I lock this. 
and then I Operator. I actually have Catwitcher off of Illusionist is really good. Do I just... I think I open Scenario, not Scenario, open Operator. Just didn't see it. Okay. <laughs> There of Nova. Master Captain Spear is interesting. <laughs> it is traps, isn't it? Serpent trap. Dude, I wanted. I don't think you know what I'm going for here. Okay, maybe I play. Well, this would be really good in round three, actually. Let's go for this other initiate here. I can kill that one there nicely. Okay, yeah, let's go for it. I mean, they played. They haven't played much. Okay. Ah, ale. Ugh. Rude. Okay. Yeah. Can I use my other lock just yet? Grow stacking for now. Okay. Do I lock this? I could invo it, but honestly, it might be one of my better invo targets. Hmm, okay, I think we're fine. I don't think I need to panic too much. Uh, that's an annoying combo, but it's not that crazy. Okay, so I don't have Milva. So just trying to make Catwitcher better. Shiru! I, that was not. I wasn't expecting Shiru, I'll tell you that. Okay. My god, alright. Um, let's see, I think. This is such a slow play. I don't have to go down cards. This plays for what? Three, four, five tempo? He's likely do as well. I mean, they probably want to see my scenario, but that's this plus like Ramon. Is that enough? Maybe. I can't do this, right? Maybe it's fine. It doesn't seem to be letting go. What? Why didn't that work? That should have worked. really should have worked. I don't know why I didn't. I played a cultist. Huh. I guess I've just mulliganed them every time I've actually used them. Okay. Wait. Yeah, yeah. Bizarre. I do lock this. These are getting spooky. Okay, now they pass. That comes out, sure. Okay, so I might have to go down <laughs> cards here. Mm, so we'll play this. Yeah, I mean. Oh, I should play this back row. Okay, and then I can just play this, I think, and I'll be fine. Alright. 
Well. Alright. I went down a card. At 1 by 12. I wish I played an arrow turn earlier. Alright. Sir. And you. Alright, no. There's Calvite. Okay. So I definitely just want proactive kind of points. I'm thinking it's. I mean, maybe they just have one trap, but I'd rather. Most of these other cards should be better. I think. I think that's the way. Alright, that's decent, right? I mean, these are all cultists, so I guess she's not really doing much. Profit could be something interesting. Let's see, what's a good profit? These are my cultists from. Okay. Yeah, we're just trying to go proactive. Well, the dwarves are good for, um... Okay. Let's go like this. See how that works. Armor is nice, I think. If they are traps. If they really are traps, it could be consideration to play Triss into Prophet. Okay. Sure, sure. I don't think I'm gonna get the. Okay, let's do. Let's play Triss. Shuffle this and then replay it. Although, I think I'd rather play... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get his value. So maybe I'll just... Shuffle the Illusionist and redraw it. Let's see if anything could get better. Profit might be better than Initiate. They don't play a lot of units, so... Profit I can play next too. And then I think if you guys my finisher, there's a dragon, yeah. Can I block that? Okay. It's only still in the, the back row. Hmm. I can play Profit next. I have to play it next actually. Okay, let's see, maybe I lost something important. Maybe they have like Gord and... Okay, just a matron. A little unfortunate, but it's alright. Because even if it moved, this would have been bad. Alright. Play this next. Play... yeah, play this next. a cat witcher yeah so having this back row would have been good it's fine and then i think i ruffle here i lose one point on notorious but i think it's better that these kind of cards live and also if they have like a serpent another serpent trap from like ivar then i don't play into it it's a sentry okay they probably play that range row which is just cancel out this one let's see okay and now i calvite try to play around like Crushing Trap. They haven't played any other traps, but still. I guess I could have infused something and had an extra two points. But it's just better. I think. Maybe an initiate was fine. I'm up 23 points. They do have double assay. But they have no more Cat Witchers. There's a Dryad Matron. Alright. Okay, I miss Illusionist, which definitely sucks. So I'll just play this. I'll just play the initiate. Nice! 
And we're up 33 points. <sighs> Can they do it? I guess they played on the melee rather they'd be playing the Cat Witcher. Could still would have been better, I think, though. Mercenary, okay. So now they need 26 points in one. I don't think Gord can be that big. <laughs> no unit, Shiru. You know, he didn't even play that many specials. Why did it seem like he did? Wow. You know. <laughs> Good game. <laughs> Alright, we're two for two. You know, we missed, we're dodging the Renfri matchups um and we're getting some pretty good matchups here but i think the deck um i think it's showing itself to go pretty well and you know maybe the world um i imagine this deck or that this deck thrives in it is a non-run free world and only better next season it really um just like a week and a half from now yeah because it's not this upcoming tuesday but next tuesday so 12 days um and cultists i think could also use a bit of a rework they're kind of like, I think I really have to stretch to make this deck even, like, get some value off of Cultists. Like, outside of Scenario, you get value from the Initiates and then the Master of Ceremonies thing by infusing units and just having a bunch of Cultists. Now up against Dwarves. Should be okay. They have a lot of engines. They could be a run-free deck. I'm on Blue Coin, which is rough. Maybe I'll draw a little better this time, though. Um, we got Calvit, which is nice. He's a Cultist! I think he's been a Cultist in all three games. He just really a firm believer in the the eclipse here all right okay these are not round one cards this could be if i'm it's not going well profit's not a card i want to play Triss is pretty good but i would want to play and i don't want two teleports on blue coin okay illusionist on blue coin as well i don't think i want to well if i mulligan the illusionist i never get it back and these are cards I want to play, mostly. Just mulligan. Okay, I'll the box, sure. Sure, sure, sure. So, hmm, I'd like to not lose value on that. Is there any way to do that? Maybe I'm supposed to play out ball this round? Maybe that is all I'm supposed to do. Try to win the round. Could be my one chance to do so. And then just go for a long round. I missed Surrender. Surrender would have been really good round one of this matchup. So the Dwarven Chariot, I could have just answered both. I mean, if they give me Monroe and Zoltan round one, that's not terrible. Um, oh. No, Operate doesn't make sense. Let's just do Ramon, call that carryover. Then I actually am going to play um, Eltabald here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then he can have a veil now to use the cultist. It's fine. Alright. So now I play Triss. I'll have three cultists. This will die. And I'll have access to operator. Seems good. Okay. Alright. Shuffle this. This doesn't seem to work the way I wanted it to, so do that. Okay, dies. Play operator. See, there's Monroe. For operator. Yeah. The initiate. There you go. And I'm gonna get I'm gonna get you back. Although it could just die to a ping. I'm supposed to infuse one of the berserkers. I oh, only have two more turns. Hmm. No, because getting one of these having one of these join the eclipse would be pretty good for me. I'm not ahead, but I'm okay going down to four cards. In fact, I'll, I'll enjoy it. <laughs> I 
Okay, they're gonna infuse one of my cards. Another Berserker, sure. Rude. Okay, so we're gonna infuse you. And then we're also going to infuse you. If I infuse the same one, no, it's fine. And then I'll just play you here. Okay. There. Then they pass. I've got a big old Calvi here to get ahead. Love it if they passed. Please pass. Please pass. <laughs> and I'm okay with playing my whole hand, although there's not a lot of tempo beyond like Calvi. Okay, Miner's pretty end of the day. So let's get with these guys. So I think what I do is I infuse this guy too. Oh yeah, watch this. Yeah, I can do this. Hmm. I'm gonna do this. Cool. Now I'm ahead. I <laughs> hit the armor. There's a lot of armor though, to be fair. That was the worst one to hit, or the, the worst of the two to hit. Okay, Mahakam volunteers, back row, sure. Yeah, one point of turn, alright. So I'm just gonna hit this. If I hit this, it's worth three points. I mean, this could be a better way to do that, but. Yeah. And then I go up by not quite two a turn, and they go up by two a turn for sure. Alright. So again, I'm giving them a pass. I'm okay going down two cards. I'm always hitting armor. Shrewd. Sultan, alright. So locking doesn't do anything. Well, he'll take the infusion with him. So we're down 15 points. Might be doable. Spending a lot of things. I missed Illusionist too, which is rough. Let's get carry over. Okay, and then this should give me a head. Play two points here, one point here. One point maybe here. I mean again, getting Monroe is really good. I think Zoltan Bruver and potentially Renfrey are what I'm scared of still. Zoltan Scoundrel is not something I was expecting. Maybe it's just a regular dwarf deck with like company. Alright. So like I said, I have one point here, I would have two, three points here. Four here. <laughs> okay, we're still way down. So I just have to pass. Alright. Losing on even. Dwarves loves that. I spend a lot too. I still have a good amount of carryover. I uh, Ramon went to this. Got two cultists here. 
Invo. So I don't have a second Gold Cultist. Next card is a Gold Cultist or Surrender. Either way, it could be pretty good. Is it better than Invo, though? I mean, what's going to go really tall? A lot of dwarves do, but am I going to have the opportunity to do that? I guess if I play like a Resilient unit, it could be good. I don't mulligan any of these. I think I have to mulligan it in bow. I might regret this. Surrenders, I think, might be better. He's infused, so I can just play any card. Like, this gets me ahead. Okay, we just play Chariot. Alright. We're gonna stack melee row, so Surrender's gonna really do well. Lock plays for zero points right now. I have a lot left in round three either. Still have cultists. Okay, if they push, I need to play this now. Okay, yeah. And I can just play off to play Ramon next. I think they're gonna keep going. I hope they do. They get double last day though, which could really suck, especially if they have Ruber. Which they must have Ruber. Okay, Skirmisher. It's pretty weak. Alright. Hmm, well I'm just gonna infuse this anyway. Hmm. I'd like to get ahead. Alright. It's gonna be good with armor, but do I need more armor? Yeah, I think this is the way. Let's go for these. Alright, and we're ahead. Pass. Not having another col gold cultist really is unfortunate. Alright, I just went for that, sure. Zoltan. Take the armor. Yeah, okay. Yikes, okay. Surrender plays for two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Doesn't quite get me ahead, but then I could lock Zoltan after that. Or just kill him outright. Bye. Okay, I'm keeping my card. I think. So if they play again, I need to play Truffle. Invo and Zolan could have been big, but I guess I could, might not have wanted to risk it. Unless I had the tempo to do so. And which card I have not, I mean, what's it called? Surrender just played for a ton of points. I don't know if they're likely going to play, but I can't chance it, so I just need to play Truffle. Yeah, especially they're doing that. It's pretty... pretty telegraphed. Sure, okay. Although... This is, no, this is going to get me ahead anyway. I should take... Wait, let's see, so 7, 11... Yeah, actually this is not enough, so I need to take this. Oh, 
Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Renfrey, what are you doing here? We tried so hard. If only you were a gold cultist. But I needed you in hand. Oh my god. I forgot about Renfrey. I just didn't think... Oh, yeah. I was just thinking about, like, Bruver and Dwarf stuff. I mean, I, I figured they had Renfrey earlier. Chris agreed. They're gonna go for a 2-0. I mean, I've got... As far as I know, I have a gold... No, they know I have Illusionist. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Don't destroy me, Renfrey. Ren hey, well, this is worth nothing. What was that? That was a 20-point Renfrey. Alright, okay, let's see if I have enough points. Alright. I might actually do it. I mean, maybe this is just... Yeah, this is just four. Okay. Oh my god, do I... S Wait, no. No! Oh, I had an armor, otherwise I would have tied. Okay, I didn't, I couldn't have won. I lost by one in the bleed. Oh my god. No, okay. This deck doesn't automatically lose to Renfrey. You all saw that. It was winnable. I think if I had... If I drew one of the other gold... But Surrender was so good. Maybe if I mulliganed a different card. My draws just went a little different. I had a gold cultist or something. To p double procs an area. Or even like a... I don't have any other gold units even. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of how that... Could have gone differently. I mean, I went pretty deep into round one, knowing they would likely to bleed me round two. Maybe I should have given up round one a little easier, like not play like Vigo, for instance. He's a really good card. This scenario, you know, you make him a cultist, you can make other cultists. Yeah, I think I should I should have passed round one a little a little earlier. I just had it in me that I could win that. I thought I had enough cards to do so, or that I would get something bigger out of them, like Zoltan in round one. But I'm pretty happy with how I played that. I was very close. I needed. Um, like one more point um and it's pretty easy to squeeze out like one or two more points even with that set of cards that i had in that hand so i think it was doable um but i'm gonna leave it there i you know i got i got some good wins and like i said this deck is good it, i think it's good it's just it's hard to tell as well because renfrey just is very strong and so it's hard to tell with these other kind of non-renfrey decks but i'm gonna keep trying with them i think it's fun i think all these new cards in from the Black Sun, Black Sun expansion deserve to be paid attention to, deserve to be tried out, um, even if they're not going to perform as well as they might in another world or next month. That's the other world. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, thanks so much for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, um, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much.